Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Adela Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that. Where are we heading right now? What kind of patterns can we see on the charts? Because now we have a nice dip, uh, which you might can buy or we will continue. Well, let's talk about it. And the second thing I would like to mention is that Binance calls for global crypto regulation and start, they started a campaign in major newspapers. And the third thing is that a quarter of Aussie crypto users plan to buy crypto for Christmas as a gift. See, this could be a new thing. Well, guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to get the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, just simply subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom. Subscribe, bell button, all. Oh, that's the only thing you have to do. And then you're getting the notifications as soon as a new video is out. You know, I'm putting these videos on YouTube every weekday. And also check out the links under this video, useful ones you can save money with uh, on, uh, you know, uh, transaction fees if you register with those links to centralized exchanges. And also I have a free course, how to start investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And let's see the price, how that looks like. So Bitcoin price is at the moment 60,139 US dollar, a slight, a slight increase in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, tiny little bit down, 4,205 US dollar. When we're looking at the winners, then we see that the sandbox, you know, uh, it's leading with 34%. Then we have IOTA with 20% and IOTAX 17%. As you can see, Avalanche, some of them doing quite well uh, today. And uh, yeah, well, let's look at the losers. To be fair, Uma, 8% down, uh, Lifepeer down 7%, and Pancake Swap is down 7%. So these are the top three. And uh, now let's talk about where are we heading? Let's look a little bit at the Bitcoin chart. Let's look a little bit at the Ethereum chart, uh, the chart and let's talk about it. So we had a nice pullback. And uh, well, I would like to highlight one thing. And uh, this I could find on uh, TechDev's um, Twitter page. And it compares basically 2017 to 2021. And so far, it looks very identical. Because if you're looking at all these RSIs, if you remember yesterday, I did talk about this one, that we have a bearish divergence, you know, here. And as we have witnessed this even before here and also here in spring. And after there was a, was a price drop, basically. However, if you're looking at this comparison here, then we can see that, well, look, on the 22nd of September, we had this dip here. And in 2021, this was back in 2017, 2021, the similar thing happened on the 30th of uh, September. So kind of we, we seven, eight days, um, you know, uh, in front of uh, a little bit, um, of uh, 2017 or behind, depends which way you're looking at. And uh, now we had this back in 2017, on the 12th of November, we had a price drop before the rally. And look, this is on the 17th November, we witnessing something very similar. And even if you're looking at the RSI, it's probably going in the same direction. It's very, very, very uh, creepy and, and strange. and. You know, so far, all these things, you know, this one back in, in, in July, we had on 20th here a drop here. We had on July the 17th this drop. So look how similar these two years looking so far. And, you know, uh, we are in very similar situation because 2017 was a year uh, after the halving, actually the second halving in Bitcoin's history. And we had last year the third halving. And uh, yes, so... If we are here and this is going to continue, we could have we could have a very nice uh, run upward. <coughs> so all eyes on, on on this. When we're looking at here the Bitcoin chart, then uh, we can see now that this support level worked out pretty well. You know, uh, we had basically now 
from the top, if you're looking at, a 15% pullback. And now look, the 60, the 60 is kind of holding because yes, the wick, it went under it, but we haven't actually um, reached, uh, let's move this one. Okay, so now you can see this one better. So as you can see here, uh, the week we haven't even touched this kind of other important fund, uh, 50, uh, 58,000. If you're looking at this, this is also an, an important level. So even there and uh, also here, uh, the price uh, has touched it. Um, it's a work as a support before. And uh, well, we went kind of close to it, but basically back on 60. So the next one, if you're looking at the upward movement, it should be 63 something, which we have to cross. And then, then we can uh, go again up. On the other hand, one other thing to point out is um, if you're looking at this pattern, as for instance, if we just go up to, to from 68 and then we just have a, another top but just slightly above it and then <coughs> sorry and then we come back then it this will very uh, look like uh, the one which we had in uh, spring i'm not saying that this could happen but you know just uh, when we comparing now things but uh, most importantly historically the last quarter in the year after the halving is uh, supposed to be bullish and you uh, and this should be the peak of the bull market well will it play out this way so it be going to have a peak end of uh, this year or it goes the next quarter well we will see but actually uh, the situation is not that bad at all because bitcoin is holding itself here it hasn't dropped further so this is just a tiny 15 percent correction this is basically nothing when we're looking at ethereum we can also see that here ethereum may be looking uh, could look a bit more i wouldn't say bearish because the same thing happening here look um we had this here this level this uh 4200 something and actually, just like with Bitcoin was, we haven't reached the next uh, support level. So even here we have one more. So one of these should work out or, or of course, we can already, uh, uh, the one which, which we turn, because we are around this level. If you break this through, continues to reach this one, uh, then, you know, this one is not the game. And then maybe this one. But actually, apart from that, it's so far so good because even we come here, you know, uh, here we are good because we definitely have new uh, higher highs, higher lows. So we still have a little bit of room. But uh, right now, I think things looking fine. And a pullback just before, for instance, a big rally would be, I think, quite healthy. So... That's it about the, the prices and the, some kind of predictions. And now let's move on to the next uh, topic, which is all about the Binance calls for um, global crypto regulation. And they launched an uh, interesting ad campaign. As you know, Binance uh, has some kind of trouble with uh, you know, uh, regulators all around the world because, uh, you know, the exchange cannot work smoothly, really, in uh, many, many countries. So now, they, uh, Binance calls for a global crypto regulation by launching a crypto is evil ad campaign. Interesting. Uh, look, this is how it looks like in the newspaper, and it actually was published in the Washington Post, New York Times, and Financial Times. So in big uh, quality newspapers, as you can see, it's like a full page one. And, uh, well... Cryptocurrency exchange Binance calls for a global regulatory framework for crypto markets on Tuesday with the publication of 10 fundamental rights for crypto users and several crypto ads in major newspapers, as I just showed you. So basically, they're saying that, uh, well, probably they fed enough, uh, fed up with this uh, whole thing. Uh, and uh, for them... They're saying regulation would be actually uh, a good thing. So regulation and innovation are not uh, mutually exclusive. 
We want uh, to do everything possible as an industry to work with the regulators and the world leaders to identify what is going to be the effective regulatory policy that most importantly protects users and supports innovation. So for them, it would be definitely the good thing if, okay, let's go for regulation, just please make it clear. And if it, it's clear and it's obvious, they know what it is, it's global, so they don't have these kind of problems what they're facing now. Because many regulator, uh, regulators worldwide have warned about Binance operating without authorization in their jurisdiction, including the UK, uh, Netherlands, South Africa, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Thailand, Lithuania, Italy, Singapore, and Canada. U.S. authorities are also investigating Binance for possible market manipulation and insider trading. So they are kind of in trouble in many, many countries. So this is the reason why they, they uh, came out with this uh, advert. But overall, I think uh, it's true that we do need some kind of regulations. And I think this is where uh, on many authorities right now working on, because without regulations, it's, it's, it's not good for us. So the wide, wide west for crypto and that kind of future is the past. The way we're going now is that banks join the game, institutions uh, are joining the game, institution investors join the game, hedge funds join the game, and of course, retail investors. So basically it's now everybody in, uh, from all kind of categories, and of course, more and more uh, <clears throat> uh, participants uh, will join in the future. And to make it work, we do need regulations. So we have to give up. They have to give up something that they cannot stop really Bitcoin. On the other hand, we have to give up something that okay, it has to be regulated in in, in some kind of way to make it obvious and it's good for everybody because then Binance can work, you can use a centralized exchange without being worried about that, can you then withdraw your money or you cannot withdraw your money? So this was actually very important. So I know that they did it because uh, they kind of in the, in the trouble in this way. Uh, so it's it's that's why they're pushing it. But overall, I think this is something what we, we, we all need to, to fit this really in our financial system and make it work. Right, and the next thing I would like to talk about is Christmas is coming and the Aussies, the culture of the Aussie crypto holders. There was a survey and they saying they are planning to buy crypto related gifts for their loved ones. Well, shopping time is on when it comes to Christmas and usually, you know, around November, or the ones who are in the last minute, always in December, they're really going shopping. And as crypto is around, there is a survey made by crypto.com, and, uh, you know, they made it in, in Australia. So, quarter of the Aussie crypto users plan to buy crypto Christmas gifts. So, the survey by Crypto Wallet and service provider crypto.com uh, polled uh, 2020 Australians aged between 18 and 59, of those that had users uh, used crypto over the last 12 months, 26% responded that they would consider giving some away for Christmas or buying crypto-related gifts. So either they give crypto or some crypto-related gifts. More than the half, so this is 53% of those planning to buy crypto gifts, said they would consider to purchasing crypto assets like Bitcoin or Ethereum for the loved ones this Christmas. The survey also found that crypto merchandise such as themed uh, socks or hoodies might be popular gifts uh, this holiday season, as 43% of those planning to buy crypto-centric gifts said they were looking for these items. And around 42% said they were thinking about buying, uh, you know, coin vouchers and 35% considering buying crypto books Around a third of those surveyed said they were thinking about gifting non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Guys, now you can be creative. If you would like to buy something to your loved one, you know, something could be useful. And maybe the gift, what you're giving, it would be a really, really valuable one in years. You never know. So this is an interesting new thing. Now, uh, crypto it's in the game when it comes to Christmas presents. <laughs> so these are the times for believing living right now. Guys, 
That's it for today. If you like this kind of content, smash the like button and also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news to keep you up to date. Uh, keep yourself up to date. I keep you up to date. And uh, tomorrow uh, I see you again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.